Welcome back to the VA Realize Automation 7.3 video series. So in the previous video we talked about the NSX, NSX Edge load balancer, set up the load balancer and made the necessary changes for the installation, which was disabling the health monitor and make sure only the primary node from the VRA appliance, IS service and IS manager server are active. Next are the prerequisites. The installation wizard takes care of most prerequisites. There are a couple of prerequisites, or one to be precise, which seems to be a little bit of a hit and miss, but I'll talk to that in a minute, talk about it in a minute. Uh, in previous versions, like 6 for example, you had to run PowerShell scripts to, dis uh, to install prerequisites like IS server, or IIS server, Java, etc. etc. All this has not been taken care of with the installation visit. But still, as I mentioned, there are things which I still do out of habit and because the wizard doesn't do it or there's a hit and miss. MSDTC, for example. This is something which needs to be enabled on all IS servers talking to the SQL server and essentially the SQL server itself. The installation wizard is supposed to take care of that. I have seen that it doesn't. So as I say, it's a little bit of a hit and miss. Plus I'm a piece of old habits so of just my templates have that it have those enabled anyway. Uh, I'm using a service account for the installation. So I'm making the service account a local admin. Give the service account rights to log on as a service. For the installation itself, I also disable UAC. You can enable that later on again, but I noticed it causes errors. Especially if your service account is local admin, you essentially don't get the option to run the particular EXE or MSI as, as administrator in 2016 anyway. Uh, but UAC still doesn't seem to be working. And I'll make the, uh, the, the service account sysadmin in SQL for what that means is you have multiple ways of, of using an external database. You have either the installer create a database for you or you create a database yourself. If you create the database yourself, the user needs to be DB owner on said database. But I let the installer create a database and I run it as a service account. So the service account needs to have sysadmin rights in SQL but once the database has been created and VRA has been installed, you can essentially remove that right again and just make sure that the service account has DB owner rights. So let's just dig in and just do it. So you can see I've logged in to the first server. This happens to be my SQL server. So I just gonna make sure first that on the SQL server itself, that MSTTC is already enabled. So we're going to the administrative tools, component services, double click computers, double click my computer, double click distributed transaction coordinator, right click local DDC properties, and then go to the security tab. So you can see network DTC access is essentially enabled and be allowing remote clients, remote administration, inbound, outbound, uh, again, it is a lab for me, so I don't need any authentication. Um, so that is all good. That is what we want. I don't need local service rights or any of that on that particular server because I don't log into the server with a service account. But let's just make sure the service account we intend to use has actually sysadmin rights. So my SQL Server Management Studio. Just log in. Apologies for the email pop-up. Check the databases. You can see there are no databases. And under security, logins, service VRA is essentially the service account I'd like to use. Double click, server roles. And you can see the user is sysadmin. If you create a database, I just tick any database here, make sure you give that service user DB owner permissions, but it doesn't need to be done here because the service account is essentially doing this for us because it is sysadmin 
So it has the permissions to essentially give itself permissions on the database, newly created database, to be DB owner. All right, that's the SQL Server. So I just gonna look out of that one. I'm going through the first server, a little bit slower, of course, in order to make sure you know exactly what I'm doing. But then the other ones are just gonna fly through essentially because there's no need for you to watch 20 times the same thing. So I'm looking to the into the first server. There's ISHT1. That's gonna be the agent server. So I'm looking in first of all as administrator. Right, so as you can see, I haven't actually logged into the server before, so it really is a, a plain vanilla server. So just gonna close all that. So let's just go through what I mentioned before. So um, first of all, again, it's component servers. So you're making sure MSDTC is actually enabled on the server. It is. It's good. As I said, this is part of my part of my template anyway, but no harm in checking. I'll have a look whether my service accounts have actually logged in as a service rights. You can see on the little icon here that this is actually dealt with via group policy, so that will be alright. You could see the same with firewall. I don't need a firewall in my lab, so you can see Firewall is turned off as well, which I haven't mentioned in the slide, but you can see it's disabled. Computer management, as I say, the local the service account needs to have local admin right. So this is something I still need to do. So service VRA, which is my service account. This has no local admin rights. That's okay, that's okay. So we should be good to go. We're just gonna have a look actually at the resolution. It's a bit of an awkward one. Let's just change that while we're here. Yeah, keep, keep, keep. So, okay, 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 okay. Anyway, I'm not gonna do this on the other one. So this is, this is done. This is actually all we really need to do. And from the prerequisite point of view. And if you just log in, now we just want to see that we can actually log in with the service account and make sure we have admin rights. So it's service.vra at vgain.co.uk. The reason I'm using not a backslash is because I'm using an Apple keyboard and I just can't get the backslash to work on the console, funny enough. Anyway, let's log in. It's a service VRA account. And there we go. So we have full permission. Well, we have admin permission anyway. What you can see by the fact we can actually create a file into the root folder of C, which you wouldn't be able to unless you actually admin. And then I mentioned UAC. So I'm just gonna go to the control panel, user accounts, user accounts, UAC, disable that, okay, yes, done. This is all you really need in order to do the installation. I mean, I'm just gonna see, is the IP right? That should be 10, yes, that's the agent. It should be 10, yes, so that's agent 10, uh, one, and that should come back as 10. It's all good. So I'm just going to quickly go through the other ones as well. Da, 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 da. I'm just going to do this quickly. Just going to speed up the 
movie for a minute or pause it really because there's no as i say there's not really a, a point in you watching it because i'm essentially doing what you just saw on agto1 agto2 mano1 mano2 web01 web02 so essentially on all six is servers are gonna do exactly the same thing make the user local admin make sure component services and mstdc is enabled make sure it has login as a service per, um, permission i can log in as it and then of course i'm also able to log in as a service account and then disable the uic so i'll see you in a second okay we are back now so I have done this on all of these six servers. So in terms of prerequisites, that's essentially all you need to do. Another part, which I will cover in the next video, is essentially installing the installation agent. Um, that also needs to be done on every single host. But it's part of the installation, so I'm just going to show you that later. But as I said, this is going to be, or this was going to be a short one anyway. So, yes, essentially, all six servers now have MSDTC enabled. The service account is local admin. The service account has rights to log on as a service. UAC is, the, is also disabled for said service. And that is really it. Okay. So as I said, that's pretty much it from the prerequisites point of view. I mean, there are still some little prerequisites which we do as part of the distributed install, which I say it's the agent we need to install, which then in turn takes care of IIS, etc., etc. But this is part really of the VRA distributed install video, which will be part five. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in part five.